Hey guys, so this is Clint Poster again. Uh, in the previous video, if you didn't watch it, I talked about an introduction as to what Dropbox is, how you can organize files and folders using the favorites, and then we went over the keyboard shortcuts. So if you're good with that, right now what I'm going to be moving on to are the tips and tricks. So first of all, headers. Headers is a big thing. The reason why we want to use headers is because it creates a visual and organization that makes it easy to see, okay, this is a big thing and these are the tasks underneath it. This is another big thing and these are the tasks underneath. So the header, this is a header one, this is a header three. If you use headers, then on the left side of the paper, you get the hyperlinks. So as your tasks, as your lists get longer, the headers will make it really easy for moving around the document and getting to where you're, you need to be. So visually effective, creates a table of contents, and then you can tab your lists around. So once I have this, this is the first layer, and this is the second layer. I showed the shortcut, which is, is shift and tab, which unindents and tab indents. Using tabs really makes it easy for um, organizing and making it easy to see what's what's what, different levels. Tagging people, we wanna make sure that we tag people. So this is a tag, it sends me an email or whoever you tag and lets them know that, that they need to be paying attention to this line item. So how you do that is it's just shift to the at sign and then you can put an email, you can write that in and that's how you tag somebody. You can tag people in the comments. So I did that here, I wrote this comment, so let's write another comment. With a list, when you put this list in, which is again, the left and right brackets in a space, it brings up these options here. You can set a due date, you can tell somebody that they need to be, uh, they're assigned to this issue, and then you can comment. So in the comments, you can say, hey, tag the person, take care of this, post. And then you can have a full on conversation. It's really great. So tagging people in comments, tagging them in the line items so that they were assigned to that, it's a really big deal. And that's again covering that. So you assign people. Say so you're in charge of this. Organize with lines and spaces. So as you can see here, I have a line. There's different spacing that comes up. So I use a header and I use lines. This is header one, this is the line. And then I use some very specific headers. I have what I've started doing in addition to this is the one thing. I'll talk to that about that soon. So this is my top layer. So I have a line, the one thing completed. And these are all header ones. So that's my headers. And then the lines break up each section. I'm gonna show you what that looks like here in a second. And then you wanna move completed tasks to the top. And again, the way that you move things is by hitting command, control, and then up and down arrows. You can highlight whole sections and do that too. And then make sure you move things according to due dates. You can set a due date and it organizes it. So anything that's due this week that was on last week's list, you can move it up to this week. And I'll show you that in a second. And deadlines. Here you can see that the deadline, this is due today. Use calendars, set up deadlines, and then make sure we're always working to meet the deadlines. Hyperlinks. The best way to hyperlink something is copy the link and then you can highlight the word, Command K, Command V, which is copy and paste, Command V is, is paste, and you have the hyperlink. And this is great for hyperlinking to maybe you have Dropbox and you have files that you want to share or you're working on something that is specific to a task. You're able to make sure it's easy for anybody to access those files. So the one thing, the one thing is centered around the idea that you always focus on the very most, utmost important thing and that you put all your attention in on it because that will help you make sure that you're the most successful at what you're doing and that you're not spending time chasing rabbits or, or doing things that, that aren't as important. So this is the most important thing that you can be doing right now. And that's why I make it at the top, you'll see in the example. Use this at the top so you know exactly what you should be working on right now in this very moment. 
And then if you want, read the book. I'll let you check this off so you can know that you're at least looked into the book. There's a hyperlink here, it takes to the Amazon. I highly recommend it. It's helped me really focus on the biggest things and it's helped me progress a lot faster than I ever thought possible. So here's my example page. This is what my lists look like with each company that I'm working with. Uh, the one thing, like I said, is at the top, and I always move this up. Usually it's gonna be something that's due today, this week, and it's right here. So every time I come back and say, okay, what do I need to be working on? That's the one thing. And then completed. This is where all the projects, oh, well, let's see, I just completed this one. So we're gonna move it under completed. I'll have to bring something up. So this is a great thing to have because it shows that you're making progress. Great, I accomplished this, I accomplished this, I accomplished that. And this is things that are due this week. So I can make sure that I've got the, them at top of mind awareness. Usually once I've completed the one thing, I can come here and take this and move it up. And then I'm just knocking things out one thing at a time. Next week, this keeps me in, in, in mind so I know that I'm working on. Perhaps there's, this is the most important thing. The boss comes and says, hey, I gotta have this done today. You can move it up to the one thing. So that makes it so this is a little bit more flexible. And then as you come into the next week, you can take, okay, all this stuff was due this, last week, but now it's this week. So you just highlight it command and control in the up arrow, move it up above the line into this week's to-do list. And as these things come up, again, it's just really quick, you can come in on Monday, organize your week, and you know exactly what you're doing. So, with that guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, you can follow my Facebook page, I have a, up, uh, a podcast right now. It's Social Tech on Air, where I share and interview people who are doing amazing things with technology. And the whole point is that we can improve our lives with technology. And this is a very good example of it with the Dropbox papers. Uh, also, let's connect on LinkedIn, and you can follow the podcast here. So, love to hear some feedback, see what you guys think about this, if it's valuable. And I will continue to find some more amazing technologies and, and showing you how to use them to improve your life. Thank you.